Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin from Justice League Swag, and today I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Sun Gohan deck. Uh, I played it at Dream Wizards today, and I came in fifth because I went 2-1-1. Uh, one, one. I got a draw against, uh, what is it called, a Bears deck because we weren't able to finish. And then I lost to a Broly deck in, um, what is it called? Round two against the Broly deck, he just got lucky and pulled my negates out of my hand uh, with the six drop Broly. And then round three, I just didn't draw what I needed to finish him. So, great guy. His name was uh, Matt. Uh, but starting off, uh, my one drops, I am running four slasher trunks. I'm running slasher trunks at fours because I really want to see this if I am the first to attack. Because this put pr puts pressure on my opponent uh, for Gohan's uh, ability. So it's like a lot of people get caught in the Genjutsu, which is Gohan's ability. If you rush them attacking for damage, more than likely they'll uh, lose cards by blocking it just because they don't want you to draw with Gohan. While Gohan is, in all uh, facts, actually a catch-22. If you're dropping cards... <laughs> Uh, for my attacks just to make sure that I don't draw for Gohan's ability. I don't care. You're minusing. But if you don't drop cards and I actually hit you and my life is higher than you, I draw a card every time I swing. So a lot of like Gohan's abilities just plays tricks on your opponent's mind. But Trunks helps you really get there. If any of my Trunks get stuck on the field, I usually combo them off later. Or attack with them and then use combos. Like if only if I'm pushing. But usually, like Trunks gets uh, comboed off if he's not like KO'd later. Uh, next up for one drops four Weiss's coercion uh, staple because I'm running blue green for this Gohan deck. Uh, this is probably the best negate in the game because it stands at energy after you cast it. Uh, four Sensu Bean. This allows you to use a lot of uh, combos during your turn and your opponent's turn. During your opponent's turn, getting around a lot of their 15Ks and their leader is really uh, helpful. This doesn't help against Goku decks uh, as well, though, because uh, a lot of Goku decks have power when they swing, when, like, energy drops five and higher. Uh, but since you being, like, stops a lot of, like, the Mecha Frieza plays... The multi attacks from like uh bio uh Broly's uh army. Like a lot of like combo heavy like attacks, you could stop them by just playing one since you being. So it helps you save on hand. And since this is an advantage game, it's like saving on hand like defensively during your opponent's turn is like huge. Uh four. Majin Buu. Uh, he lets you draw a card, you can sack him off whenever you feel like it. You're playing against Beerus, he's sacrifice fodder for uh, when they're destroying cards. Four, he lets you draw a card, so why not play him? Uh, lastly, for well, one drops, I still have uh, another negate full power energy. I'm actually considering taking this out because so many people played so defensively today. I ended up charging a lot of my negates in a lot of matches, so I'm thinking about bumping this down. And uh, my result of training, which I'm running at three, I'm thinking about bumping that down to two because I kept saying it too much. And it was like, once I have the blue negates, I really don't need this. Unless people have, like, menacing drop ones and nobody was really playing, like, Goku's. It was just, like, Broly is what I kept seeing. <laughs> Last for my one drops are uh, Boma, just to search out Whis. Uh When I don't need the energy or anything, it's, like, charge fodder. And then Whis is, too. Next two drops. Uh, Trunks Protector of Children. Staple. Like, these... Uh, Plus the zero to play, plus ten and draw cards are staple. We have four less life. Card's so good. I'm um, going to my three drops next. Uh, further and destruction. Uh, Champa. I'm running at two, only two because this game helps you steal game. It this card helps you steal games, and you don't need to play it that often. Like I finished a lot of people with Majin Buu today, just because I like Buu swings. They might have a negate or anything. They don't negate it because it's like Majin Buu. They're not worried about it. Then it's like, boom, plus 10k and double strike, and then I drop my whole hand on Buu, so it's like 90k double strike. 
So I really like this because it's like with your leader, if you're playing against anything that's super trolly and they're controlling your field, you can still steal games with your leader. So rather than destruction shot, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, best of the three drops. Uh, Go tanks running at four. I tried to play this guy like every game. Uh, every time he swings, it kind of forces your opponent to like not block it just because they're losing the card when this card is attacking. So people don't want to get out advantage. So they're not going to like uh, block this card and discard a card because then they're minus in two for one attack. So, go tanks. Max that. Uh, next up for three drops, a Salem Vegeta. I only play a Salem Vegeta if I don't draw go tanks. If I draw go tanks, this more than likely always goes in the energy. Late game, I'll play it just like if I need other things to swing. But I'm thinking about taking this out to put in uh, the four drop uh, overflowing spirit uh, Son Goku just because of the power. The power makes so much of a difference uh let's see then lastly for three drops uh ultimate judgment jaco i wasn't sure how i felt about this until i actually ran it but with gohan's ability i actually uh can run this in this pretty good if i have to tap out to destroy all my opponent's cards so on a six drop turn i actually did that today i used gohan's ability my opponent had like a uh, a four drop Beerus and it was like uh three other cards on the field. It was like they it was so much stuff, so I just blew it. And I had uh like two negates in my hand. So once I tapped out, my opponent was under the impression that they could just kill me next turn. So I took all of their attacks until they put me to it was either one or two life, and then they tried to all in with their uh last attacker. So when they all all in with their last attacker <laughs> Uh, and used up all of that energy to give it plus 10k bon bonuses. I played these on the plus 10k uh, cards that cost uh, that cost uh, energy to play. So by me playing that on those, I put cards in his hand that I knew what they were, and he could not play his next turn. So that's why I like about uh, Jaco with Gohan because if your opponent puts you in a uh, position where you're forced to use Gohan's ability, this card can keep you alive. You just have to make sure you only bounce their uh, their plus ten cards, and nothing that you want them like to get back in their hand, like a Majin Buu or a plus ten k and draw card. <laughs> but this this card like helped me bait my opponent into losing with that. It's so amazing and go on. Uh, going to four drops. I'm just running three weeks. I can search with Boma. I only want to play one a game, so I'm only running three. After I, I searched them out also against Broly to, for like discard fodder. With all of the decks that I was playing today, I didn't need Weiss that much. But I played them at least once a game. So I got them. Uh, going five drops next. Uh, three result of training. Uh, it's great because uh, almost every single person I played today tried to keep me at five and six and just not awaken me so this helped me get there as far as uh the game but i'm going to take out one of these because i lost some games just because i kept seeing this and i was already awakened so two is what i would suggest running three wasn't working out too well like you'll see it but you don't need it all the time and you draw so much you don't need to run uh what is it called three and lastly for five drops my boy, Go Tanks. This game, this card helps me win so much because he is pressure. So it's like if your opponent does not have a negate, they have to drop their plus 10k booster and draw card as well as something else just to get over his 25k power. Then all of the decks that like auto kill stuff couldn't auto kill him. So uh, most of the time, this guy died to the four drop energy boosted bears, but that was about it. Other than that, like, my opponents had to actually attack it, and then I would just combo off one card and keep it on the field unless they energy boost it. So that is it for my deck. Here's my sideboard. Uh, I sided in these, Goku, and I sided out in the gates in some matchups. Once I noticed, like, if I noticed that my opponents were playing super defensive, I would side out in the gates. And I'd side out the uh, full energy negates. Uh, some people were dragging out the game too long. So with everybody that tries to stall, I'm running uh, four in my sideboard. Uh, 
least judge of the gods just because uh, you might not get the auto ability because your leader isn't Beerus, but your opponent can't negate the attack. So that means when they can't negate the attack, you could just all in on this guy when uh, when you swing. But I'm only running this for like decks that try to stall me out and I actually make it to a 12 drop energy turn. A lot of the decks that I played against today were really good. Uh, if I need to side out negates like a uh, fourth Boma and Cyborg. Uh, and then two Kenkai inside as well as four Piccolo, just in case I played against anything that was too fast, like Vegeta or Champa. So this could absorb their crits and double strikes. But that's it for my Gohan profile. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I guess tell us what else you want us to build and test in tournament. Peace.